We are born to the soil, a sense of belonging woven into the land like scattered seeds. From the vast waterways of Bangladesh to the tiered tea terraces of Georgia, across borders, across generations. Mother Nature provides for billions of us, yet her gifts are not infinite. We must use the natural resources available to us responsibly, because in a future closer than we might believe or imagine, the fight against climate change will be won or lost in Asia and the Pacific. And it will be the resilience of generations that will determine our success. While trade remains key to our growth and open regionalism is needed to expand economic opportunity, our journey on a greener path will take alliance, shared knowledge and ultimately inclusion. An inclusive Asia and the Pacific must provide equal opportunities to the women and girls who hold up half our sky. Gender equality, women's empowerment are critical to reducing poverty and supporting socially inclusive development. Closing the digital divide between cities and villages and across areas will make our economies more competitive for the young and secure the region's future especially in a post-COVID world. Yet across a continent where longevity is increasing, the decades ahead of us don't only belong to the young. The elderly can contribute to society with policies that improve their health and ability to remain productive. Age is no barrier to progress. As learning is passed down through generations, a precious cycle of knowledge is handed down to ensure the promise of a successful future. Spanning borders that stretch across a third of the earth, we people from Asia and the Pacific are culturally diverse, but remain closely connected, bonded by our belief that family and generations hold the key to our future.